Hi, I'm Kate. Welcome to week two. This week we're going to be focusing on the pairs that make ten. Um, they are five plus five, six plus four, seven plus three, eight plus two, and nine plus one. In this video I'll demonstrate the strategy that we'll be using to teach these facts. And I also want to teach you a teaching technique that I just call look, answer, check that really helps kids start to visualize these combinations. So first let's take a look at the ten frame. What we'll be focusing on this week is the number of full boxes and the number of empty boxes. Um, since there are 10 squares in the 10 frame, if there's 8 boxes full and 2 empty, that shows us at a glance that 8 plus 2 equals 10. Um, this is what you'll be encouraging your child to look at and notice as he or she learns these combinations this week. These pairs that make 10 are really important for later weeks. You'll, your child will use them a lot to learn the plus 9 and the plus 8 facts, which can be really hard for kids. So it's really important that you get these facts solid this week. That's why we're going to spend so much time on just five facts. Now to do this, you're going to be um, playing a game based on Go Fish. You'll be doing some practice pages. And I also encourage you to use this technique that I call Look, Answer, Check. First, I want to let you experience it for yourself. And then I'll explain the steps that make it so powerful. OK, I've put some blocks on the 10 frame. And I've covered it up with my very fancy construction paper cover here. And I'm ready now to demonstrate for you look, answer, check. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the piece of construction paper off for just a second. And when I do that, take a look at the 10 frame. Try to visualize it in your head and see how many, see if you can tell how many boxes are full and how many boxes are empty. So here we go. Here's the look stage. Now try to imagine in your head. Can you uh, visualize it? Try to see how many uh, boxes were full and boxes were empty. Then after look comes the answer stage. Um, if you're doing this with your child, you have them say the answer aloud, how many boxes were full, how many were empty. And then last you check the work. Uh, so if you take a look at this, you can check what your answer was. You can see there's five boxes here in the, that are full, and then two more for a total of seven. And there are three boxes that are empty. Now the benefit of look, answer, check is that it forces children to start to uh, look at the concrete manipulatives and put them into their heads. This is a really important step for getting them to be able to use the abstract numbers, being able to see them inside their heads. Um, we put a little time pressure on by you know, covering it and then uncovering it only for a second. Um, we never want math to feel stressful or rushed for your child, though. So if um, your child is really sensitive to time pressure, feel free to let them look a little bit longer. Um, but the goal is really to get them to look, create the picture in their head, and then start to see those pairs. The three steps again are look, answer, and check. So that's all for this week. Have a great week and happy math.